Well, well, well. You know, guys, it was only a matter of time before this specific opinion about MW2019 made the rounds again within the community. Now, this happened pretty early on post-launch of MW2019, but you know, we were still going through the cycle, through the motions of the game, and then we had the absolute pleasure of playing Cold War, several iterations of Warzone, and then Vanguard finally, the top one COD of all time. And finally, when looking back on MW2019, a lot of people are starting to realize that maybe this wasn't exactly what they remember it first being. This one opinion just keeps on popping up in my head over and over and over again every time I talk about this game with one of my friends, with some of the viewers, with some of the gooch lickers in the comments. This opinion has always been in my mind and nobody has ever been able to sway me to believe something differently. Now this came about earlier today because Doug Dimmadome Warzone tweeted out what's the most overrated Call of Duty of all time and why? And then Jay God replies MW2019, and you already know, people were not happy about this, but he goes on to give one of the fattest lists of pros and cons that I've seen about a video game in quite some time, saying the only pros for MW2019 are the graphics, movement and animations, and gunfight. Then he says the cons are the maps, the time to kill, mainly the headshot multiplier, leveling, minimap and compass, streak system, spawns, doors, overkill, disbanding lobbies, map voting, thick SBMM, prestige system, team deathmatch and free for all, go to time limit, mounting, and then he says he ran out of characters. Now you can imagine the Modern Warfare 2019 gooch lickers were not too happy about this, but the way I see it, I 100% agree with this. 100% absolutely to the T. And I'm gonna explain right now, but before I do that, I wanna do something that I've never done on video ever before. I just want to address something and predict something that's inevitably coming my way, is that anytime I make any video be being critical at all about Modern Warfare 2019 specifically, I am bombarded with the exact same comments by the same dumbass motherfuckers every single time. So what I want to do right now is I want to predict what these guys are going to say and I just want to give them a counter right up front so that when they commented down in the comment section below, they just look fucking stupid. All right, so here we go. Argument number one, you're just ranting for views. Now, this is actually an excellent topic and I do wanna make a video on this. I want you to go compare my views as somebody who is quote unquote ranting for views to somebody who covers leaks or somebody who covers the good opinions and the good side of Call of Duty. Think of Prestigious Key or Exclusive Ace or Drifter in the past, I guess. Ink Slasher any of the carnage guys, I get significantly less views. And if I really wanted the golden ticket, I would say every single video, wow guys, I'm so hyped up for MW2. I really love the engine. I really love these fucking TikToks by Infinity Ward. No, I'm not saying that shit. I'm gonna keep it real because it's my opinion. That's all I do, all right? Sorry if you're not catching on. Argument number two, you're just hating because it's the cool thing to do nowadays. No, I genuinely think the last three Call of Duties are the worst Call of Duties I have ever played in my entire fucking life. And then argument number three, one of my favorites. You say you hate Call of Duty, yet you have Obsidian Camo or Damascus. Yes, man, I played the fucking game. It's not that difficult to get a Mastery Camo. I'm sorry if you can't in the three, four years that you've been playing, but in the first year of the life cycle, yes, I was able to get it and still think the game sucked. Now, to really get into the meat and potatoes of the video, I think MW2019 is inexplicably overrated because, well, as you saw what Jay God said earlier on, but not only that, I feel like people have this weird misconception that because Warzone came out and it had the exact same weapon list, had the exact same operators, the exact same engine, the exact same devs even for a while, while, that the two games are connected and they're not okay we are going to separate warzone from multiplayer in its first year modern warfare 2019's multiplayer was in a fucking ditch okay it actually was not as healthy as a lot of people believe it to be and if not for warzone i genuinely don't think many people would be coming back to this game warzone absolutely influenced how people viewed this game but people seem to forget how many complaints and how much feedback there actually was critical feedback by the way for Modern Warfare's multiplayer, especially in its first few months before Warzone even came out. 
the whole debacle with the minimap not even existing at first, and then when we finally got it and there was no red dots on it because Infinity Ward wanted to protect people from dying because they had their red dots shown on the map, like every single other fucking Call of Duty. Not only that, we switched off of score streaks because so many people asked for that, of course. No ninja perk and obnoxious footstep audio. Not to mention, the devs literally said on video that they designed the game not for the old time people, not for the OGs of COD, not for the older fans of the franchise, but to bring new people in as their first experience and give them one of the newbiest Call of Duties of all time and just give them safe spaces, give them infinite claymores, one of the highest TTKs that we've ever seen, doors and mounting that just made these god awful maps even worse. There was a lot of design decisions in this game that were not pretty and a lot of people really did speak out on it. And I guarantee you there was a lot of people who spoke out on it, did not get their voices heard by the devs, were ignored, and were constantly pushed to the side even more to the point where so many people left the game by month number two. The game was literally dying until Warzone came out and literally just boomed the entire franchise again. Now that's year one. I understand that year two and even right now in year three, it's a different story because the game has been fully developed by this point. There's tons of content now and I will agree the DLC maps are actually like a million times better than the base original maps, but that's not saying much, okay? Like my fucking grandmother could do better than Ass Hair Cave. She can design something better than Piccadilly. She could design Blindfolded with no hands something better than Euphrates Bridge, okay? That's just the fucking truth. And I'm sorry if you're getting offended, and for some of my viewers that are fans of MW2019 and you're still watching, I really do appreciate you guys listening because there are things that this game did right, but it's not enough to warrant it being in like the top three CODs of all time. You're forgetting that we have like Black Ops 1, 2, some people even consider Black Ops 3 in the top five, Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3, the originals, also in the top five CODs. We have a lot of original gold era CODs that definitely deserve a spot up there and even if you think MW 2019 is a good game does it actually belong up there it could have an honorable mention and that's respectable it could be number six seven or eight that's fine but to say it's in the top five in my opinion is just outright disrespectful and in my opinion it's wrong because those golden era CODs are actually really good now I want to address something because so many people are gonna say Oh, well, you just think the other CODs are better than MW 2019 because of nostalgia. Okay, well, now that it's been three, almost four years since the start of this game, I still have the opinion MW 2019 is not as good as people think. It's almost been four years, and I still have this opinion. Black Ops Cold War already came out. Vanguard already came out. Those games are fucking horrid, and I still think MW 2019 is not good. It's not nostalgia. This is an opinion that's going to last with me. Nothing is going to change it, even though though I stopped playing Vanguard and I downright think Vanguard is the worst Call of Duty of all time. So yes, by default, I think MW 2019 is better than Vanguard. Again, it is not that difficult to be better than a steamy bag of gorilla shit that is Vanguard. It's not an accomplishment to be better than Vanguard. Another possible video topic that I have for the franchise because of MW 2019, by the way, is this whole thing with seasonal content. It was the first COD that got rid of prestiging. And right there, there's just no way to keep people hooked on your game if you're taking away one of the biggest things that kept them playing day in and day out. It was progressing, it was prestiging, it was showing off these icons. I don't even know what prestige I am in this game. I don't know what prestige I am in Vanguard or in Cold War. I don't even know if there's a max prestige. There was a lot of really bad things that happened in MW 2019. And again, I will admit, the engine was fucking phenomenal in this game. And even though this is in multiplayer, MW 2019's campaign is top five of all time. I gotta say that. But when it comes to the actual multiplayer aspects, I genuinely feel like Infinity Ward dropped the ball until Warzone came out and literally rejuvenated the entire franchise once again. In my opinion, MW 2019 got blessed. I may not like this game as much as other people do, but it's still Call of Duty to an extent, and I still prefer this over so many other FPS's out there. Please understand that before you bombard my comment section with Oh, you, you're just hating for views, fully. You just, it's a cool thing to hate now. Just shut the fuck up and bow down to the Scadmaster, bitch. 
But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think Modern Warfare 2019 is overrated? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the Scadmaster. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out this shit.